Good morning again, folks and family. It's Raymond X, the Prophet again. And this is the Word for Day, Part 2, April 5th, 2020. Today is June 25th on a Thursday at 10.08 a.m. And this is the Word for Day, Part 2, April 5th, 2020, the weekly sermon I do. And here we are at this first journal entry, April 4th, 2020, at 8.31 p.m. during worship. This is the message I've received. Where do I belong? Certainly not here, but seated in the heavenly realms of Jesus. This is a fact. Where do I belong? Certainly not here. But seated in the heavenly realms with Jesus, this is a fact. And it's found in these books of the Bible, starting with Ephesians chapter 2, verses 6 through 9 and 12, key verse 6. John 3, 16. John chapter 6, verses 55 through 59 and 67 through 71. Once again, Ephesians chapter 3, verse 10. And also, Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 18. Colossians chapter 3, verses 1 and 2. Hebrew 1 and 14. James 4 and 7. 1 John chapter 4, verse 1. And finally, Revelation chapter 22, verses 1 through 21. So let's start with Ephesians chapter 2, verses 6 through 9, and verse 12. And raised us up together and made us sit together in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus that in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness toward us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. And at that time you were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. John chapter 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. John chapter 6, verses 55 through 59 and 67 through 71. For my flesh is food indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me, and I in him. As the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so he who feeds on me will live because of me. This is the bread which came down from heaven, not as your fathers ate the manna and are dead. He who eats this bread will live forever. These things he said in the synagogue as he taught in Capernaum. Then Jesus said to the twelve, Do you also want to go away? But Simon answered him, Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. Also we have come to believe and know that you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus answered and said to them, did I not choose you, the twelve, and one of you is a devil? He spoke of Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon, for it was he who would betray him, being one of the twelve. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 10. To the intent that now the manifold wisdom of God might be made known by the church to the principalities and powers in the heavenly places. Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 18. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having girded your waist with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith with which you are able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication of the Spirit, being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. Colossians chapter 3, verses 1 and 2. If then you were raised with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ is, sitting at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth. Hebrews chapter 1, verse 14. Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for those who will inherit salvation? James chapter 4, verse 7. Therefore, submit to God, 
Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. 1 John chapter 4, verse 1 Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits whether they have God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. Revelation chapter 22, verses 1 through 21 and he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding from the throne of God and of the Lamb. In the middle of his street, on either side of the river, was the tree of life, which bore twelve fruits, each tree yielding its fruit every month. The leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. And there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him. They shall see his face, and his name shall be on their foreheads. There shall be no night there. They need no lamp nor light of the sun. For the Lord God gives them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. And he said to me, These words are faithful and true. And the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angel to show his servants the things which must shortly take place. Behold, I am coming quickly. Blessed is he who keeps the words of the prophecy of this book. Now I, John, saw and heard these things. And when I heard and saw, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel who showed me these things. He said to me, See that you do it not, do that. For I am your fellow servant, and of your brethren the prophets, and of those who keep the words of this book. Worship God. And he said to me, Do not seal the words of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. He is unjust, let him be unjust still. He who is filthy, let him be filthy still. He who is righteous, let him be righteous still. He who is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I am coming quickly, and my reward is with me, to give to every one according to his work. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are those who do his commandments, that they may have the right to the tree of life, and may enter through the gates into the city. But outside are dogs and sorcerers and sexual immoral, and murderers, and idolaters, and, ever, and whoever loves and practices a lie. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify to you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David, the bright and the morning star. And the spirit and the bride say, Come. And let him who hears say, Come. And let him who thirsts come. Whoever desires, let him take the water of life freely. For I testify to everyone who hears the words of the prophecy of this book, if anyone adds these things, God will add to him the plagues that are written in this book. And if anyone takes away from the words of, this, of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part from the book of life, of the holy city, and from the things which are written in this book. He who testifies these things, he who testifies these things says, Surely I am coming quickly. Amen. Even so, come Lord Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. The next journal entry I have for you, April 4, 2020, 8.33 p.m. When a tree is cut down in the forest, a die is cast, for there it lies. When a tree is cut down in the forest, a die is cast, for there it lies. This is found in Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse 3. If the clouds are full of rain, they empty themselves upon the earth. If a tree falls to the south or the north, in the place where the, where the tree falls, there it shall lie. April 4, 2020, 8.36 p.m., the next journal entry I have for you. Like vinegar that sets the teeth on edge, the same is insulting a good friend. Like vinegar that sets the teeth on edge, the same is insulting a good friend. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 26. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 6. And finally, Proverbs chapter 26, verse 6. So let's start with Proverbs chapter 6, verse 6. Go to the ant, you sluggard. Consider her ways and be wise. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 26. As vinegar to the teeth and smoke to the eyes, so is a lazy man to those who send him. Proverbs chapter 26, verse 6. He who sends a message by the hand of a fool cuts off his own feet and drinks violence. The Spotify worship song I have for you today 
is a song called Where I Belong by The Building 429. Building 429, the song Where I Belong. And I'll post a link to that in the description box below. As well as the YouTube video link you see listed here. The next journal entry I have for you is April 4, 2020 at 8.38 p.m. And this is the word I received during worship. Where do I go from here? There are only two roads. It is not too late to change the wrong road you are on. The road that leads to destruction. It leads to death. Once again, where do I go from here? There are only two roads. It is not too late to change the road you are on. The road that leads to destruction. It leads to death. And I'm going to show you these books of the Bible that go along with them. There are several to choose from. Matthew chapter 7 verse 13. And then the cross references Genesis chapter 6 verses 5 and 12. Psalm 14, 2 through 3. Proverbs chapter 7 verses 27. Proverbs chapter 16 verse 25. Isaiah 1 and 9. Isaiah 35 and 8. Matthew chapter 3 verses 2 and 8. Matthew chapter 18 verses 2 through 3. Matthew chapter 23 verse 13. And finally Matthew chapter 25 verses 41 and 46. So let's start with the Gospel of Matthew chapter 7 verse 13. Enter by the narrow gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to destruction. And there are many who go in by it. Genesis chapter 6, verses 5 and 12. Then the Lord saw the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every intent of the thought of his heart was only evil continually. So God looked upon the earth, and indeed it was corrupt, for all flesh had corrupt their way on the earth. Psalm 14. Verses 2-3 through three. The Lord looks down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there are any who understand, who seek God. They have all turned aside. They have together become corrupt. There is none who does good. No, not one. Proverbs chapter 7, verse 27 Her house is the way to hell, descending to the chambers of death. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 25. There is a way that seems right to a man, but its end is the way of death. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 9. Unless the Lord of hosts had left to us a very small remnant, we would have become like Sodom. We would have been made like Gomorrah. Isaiah chapter 35, verse 8. A highway shall be there and a road, and it shall be called the highway of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it, but it shall be for others. Whoever walks the road, although a fool, shall not go astray. Matthew chapter 3, verses 2 and 8. And saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Therefore, bear fruits worthy of repentance. Matthew chapter 18, verses 2 and 3. Then Jesus called a little child to him, set him in the midst of them, and said, Assuredly, I say to you, unless you are converted and become as little children, you will by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. Matthew chapter 23, verse 13. But woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you shut up the kingdom of heaven against men, for you neither go in yourselves, nor do you allow those who are entering to go in. Matthew chapter 25, verses 41 and 46. Then he will also say to those on the left hand, Depart from me, you cursed, and to the everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his angels. And these will go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. The final journal entry I have for you, April 4th, 2020 at 8.40 p.m. Choose the narrow way that leads to righteousness. It is a hard road with all trials and tribulations. One person can enter at a time, single file. It leads to life. Once again, choose the narrow way that leads to righteousness. It is a hard road with all trials and tribulations. One person can enter at a time, single file. It leads to life.
and these are the books of the Bible that go along with that. Matthew chapter 7, verse 14, Psalm 16, 11, Proverbs chapter 4, verses 26 and 27, Proverbs chapter 8, verse 20, Isaiah chapter 35, verse 8, Matthew chapter 16, verses 24 and 25, Matthew chapter 20, verses 14 and 16, Matthew chapter 25, verses 1 through 12, and finally, Luke chapter 13, verse 24. So let's start with Matthew chapter 7, verse 14. Because narrow is the gate, and difficult is the way which leads to life, and there are few who find it. Psalm 16, verse 11. You will show me the path of life, and your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Proverbs chapter 4, verses 26 and 27. Part of the path of your feet, and let all your ways be established. Do not turn to the right or the left. Remove your foot from evil. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 20. I transverse the way of righteousness in the midst of the paths of justice. Isaiah chapter 35, verse 8. A highway shall be there, and a road, and shall be called the highway of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it. But it shall be for others, whoever walks the road, although a fool, shall not go astray. The Gospel of Matthew, chapter 16, verses 24 and 25. Then Jesus said to his disciples, And if anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Matthew chapter 20. Verses 14 and 16. Take what is yours and go your way. I wish to give to this last man the same as you, as to you. So the last will be first, and the first last. For many are called, but few chosen. Matthew chapter 25, verses 1 through 12. Then the kingdom of heaven shall be likened to ten virgins, who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Now five of them were wise, and five were foolish. Those who were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil and their vessels with the lamps. But while the bridegroom was delayed, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight a cry was heard, Behold, the bridegroom is coming. Go out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise answered and saying, No lest there should be not enough for us and you, but go rather to those who sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bride, groom came, and those who were ready went in with them to the wedding, and the door was shut. Afterward, the other virgins came also, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Assuredly, I say to you, I do not know you. Finally, Luke chapter 13, verse 24. Strive to enter through the narrow gate, for many, I say to you, will seek to enter and will not be able. All right, folks and family, the Spotify worship song I have for you is King of the World by Natalie Grant. King of the World by Natalie Grant. I'll post a link to that in the description box below, as well as the YouTube video link you see listed here. Okay, folks and family, that's the Word for Today, Part 2, April 5, 2020. Once again, the Word for Today. Part 2 for April 5th, 2020. It's 10.43 a.m. Thursday, June 25th, 2020. God bless you all today. And stay tuned for Part 3 of the weekly sermon I have. God bless you all today. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. God loves you and so do I. Remember, Jesus Christ is coming soon. Get ready. Get ready for His return. This is your day of salvation. Your day to repent. Your day of decision making. Your day to redeem yourselves. I love you all very much, and I'll see you on the next video upload. Lord willing, I love you all. Bye-bye for now.